Men in Black has been compromised and trust no one. Hello, and welcome back to r, &R Reviews Unscripted, where normally we break down our movie reviews and tell you all about how we feel and, and why we gave it the rating we did. Today we're going to talk about huge greedy production companies that like to reboot and respin every single franchise they have and ruin all of the good things from our childhood and younger days. Also known as Men in Black International. Welcome to the Cinema Alert! If you haven't seen Men in Black International, please do not watch it. It is garbage. Garbage! Trash. Trash! Trash! Trash, trash! Anyway, you can just pick your choice in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in case you haven't liked our Facebook page or subscribed to our YouTube page, which you really should, we'll let you know that Men in Black International got an overall rating of 4 out of 10 points. Our watch meter states this, it works to ruin a perfectly good franchise. Drops my here. So I think that it's pretty apparent that we did not enjoy this film very much. No, we did not like this movie. I mean, it, it's hard to even sit through this whole movie and pay attention the whole time. Yes, it is very difficult. It, it, they literally, like, just force the story. The characters feel forced. It feels fake. It doesn't feel genuine. It feels like they violated Men in Black. They just violated it all for the sake of money. That's all they care about. They don't care about art. They don't care about what is a perfectly good ending to an already three movie franchise. They just had to go in and try to mix it up and do this whole 2019 thing again. And it's just, ugh. The only thing they did right in this movie was not ruin my characters from the other movies. By not touching that timeline or anything of it. Yes, I agree. That's the only thing that was good about it. I mean, we our, our rating, we'll be honest, it's not the lowest we've given. It's considered average. So, I mean, I guess you can, you can get through this movie. It's coherent enough to get through, but it's not that it's enjoyable. It tries to steal everything that the old movies were, but it's like the timing was off with every character, with every joke. It just, it's just not, not good. It feels like there's hardly any action in this movie as well. It's like, where's the action? Where's the alien fighting? We're going to wait till the end to do all that? They just copied what had already been done change the aliens, change the actors and actresses, and and just, ah, gosh. It's just such a waste, such a ruin. I mean, I didn't go to theaters to see it for a reason, right? I mean, we knew that it was going to be like this. But I'll tell you what's interesting. Their goal was to make money, and it's made $253 million globally. They have met their intention to make a profit. And the reason why they keep making crap like this is because people keep going to see it. Yeah, but, I mean, it could have just made money because people were going to see it that hadn't heard nothing about it and thought it was going to be good and then watched it and was like, ah, this sucked. I guess. That's a lot of money, though. It's like Jurassic you know? World 2. The movie only made money because Jurassic World was so good. I was super disappointed with that, but we won't get into that right now. There is one thing that uh, definitely deserves credit here, as he always does, and that's Danny Elfman. Okay, don't diss on Danny. He is like the third best composer of all time, and <laughs> he does bring the only thing that's nostalgic about this film that relates it to the other films. And by third, we mean third, because uh, George Williams will always be the first. Even though his name is John Williams. <laughs> I meant to say that. I'm so sorry. Take that out. Take it out! I'm not taking that out. There you are. I'll cut it out if you don't. John, John Williams is the first, followed by Hans Zimmer. Clearly. Anyway, we don't have much more to say about this movie. It sucked. Don't see it. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your time. If you've seen the first three, great. If you haven't, go watch the first three. Second one's eh. It's okay. But the first and the third especially. And, uh, and once you've seen those, then don't ever watch this. Right. Well, guys, that's all the time that we have for you today. 
So make sure you check us out on Facebook, like our page, subscribe to our YouTube page, leave a comment. You can always email us at rogerscinemahood at gmail.com. Tell us what you want us to review or why you do or you don't like what we're doing. But until next time, we'll see you then. And remember, it's a beautiful day in the cinema hood.